You might have seen our recent video about cycling for the over 50s and how to boost your fitness. But a lot of you have asked, what about our cyclists who've had a few more birthdays than that? I've been joined by Jason Strever um, of PDQ Cycle Coaching. Hello, Jason. Am I there? Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> um, to, to talk about cycling for the over 60s. So we'll ask the most obvious question first, um, which is why is cycling good for the over 60s? I mean, it's good for the over 40s and the over 50s, so I'm not, I've, I can't see why it wouldn't be good for the over 60s, but why is it particularly good when you hit your 60s? Well, I'm a bit biased because I love it, but yeah. anyway, but um, it's low impact. And of course, yeah, actually thinking about it, low impact as we age is, is important really, because our bodies have actually Got a bit of wear, taken a bit of wear, and, yeah, they? they've taken a bit of wear and tear by the time you hit sixties. Some of these questions, I'll say it now, were written by a younger man than me. Are, are there any things that you need to look out for that would tell you that you need to stop cycling? You don't need to stop, but I always recommend when I'm looking after someone in their forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, mm -hmm. to have a good old health check every year to make yeah. sure because that any underlying problems can. Pick yeah, it up. We'll so it's not even surface, that. Yeah. Um, you know, that's for uh, yeah. So it's common sense, it's, really, it's, isn't it's, it? It's common. Yeah. It's common sense. So for a lot of cyclists, and not just racing cyclists, going fast or feeling like you're going fast um, is one of the things that is most enjoyable about cycling. Should should you give up on the on the idea that you're going to be fast in your sixties? Never. No. There's a time and a place to do, to do everything, yeah. um, and it'd be, it's, it's nice to get fit enough mm -hmm. that you can challenge yourself to go fast up a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. have to race, yeah. you know, um, and, and there's obviously that days you just cruise around and, and enjoy also, the countryside. speed is relative, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, especially if you're riding on your own and you're measuring yourself against yourself. That's what you've got to do. Yeah. You mustn't compare yourself, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. match a 20-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're very special, 60-year-old. Yeah. yeah. So no. we've got to take it in context to how old we are and where, and where we are, if you've been riding yeah. all your life or you're just a beginner cyclist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can always set goals. Knowing your body, I guess. And uh, for a lot of us older cyclists, we probably have that advantage mm. over some of our younger cycling. And not beating yourself up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got yeah, to be yeah. realistic. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely the thing that I've learned mm. as I've got older, is to be realistic about what you can do. And also not to, do, not to push yourself too hard. I know this sounds sort of counterintuitive for a lot of people, but I want to be able to do it again tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. If you're happy, mm. a happy cyclist is always a fast cyclist. And that's what I always tell all my people, you know what I mean? So that's speed dealt with. I'm assuming that like maintaining muscle mass is going to be key here. And I'm also wondering whether there's going to be differences here for men and women um, as they age. It's a, it's a big thing. When you're younger, you can get away with a lot of things, can't you? Yeah. But as soon as you get 40s to 50s, we lose three to five percent of uh, our muscle. Yeah. In every in every decade. Yeah. So we have to work on that. And when yeah. we get into our 50s, when we get in the 60s and 70s, yeah. we have to work on that even more. Yeah, because it does accelerate as it, you go past it does 60, go doesn't it? Lot. Yeah. And um, ladies post menopause, mm -hmm. it accelerates even more. Yeah. So in theory. Yeah they have to work on, on even more and even earlier sometimes. Right. So that, that could be another subject for yeah, future, yeah, yeah, future yeah, yeah. talking about that. Yeah. So um, you haven't got to do weight training. You haven't got to be a bodybuilder. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't ask people to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even you can do some strength exercises, just normal squats. Yeah. That's what I do. I yeah. mean, I normal do squats, squats and um, you, some press-ups and things yeah. like that. And that's, and that's good. And then you can move, if, if you get into it, yeah. you can go to the gym. Yeah. And, do, and do some stuff, you can yeah. do some cable work and, yeah, yeah, and things yeah. like that. The reason I ride a bike is so I don't have to go to the gym, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but all this takes time yeah. and you have to fit it around life. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. whatever works best for people. And the other thing is we, we lose quite a lot from our 40s upwards and it accelerates when we're 50s and 60s, it's that VO2. Yeah. That little extra, extra kick. That yeah. extra kick, that, like when you're going up that little one, one yeah. minute climb. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to be able to punch over there. Yeah. Well. You lose that. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're just getting over it and, yeah. nowadays. You yeah. Know what I mean, especially when you're getting older. It depends whether you, you're new to the sport. Yeah. 
if you ride all your life, you probably yeah. find you can still go out and do three, four, five hour yeah. rides. Yeah. It might matter fuel, yeah. it might have fuel a bit more, uh, yeah. energy drink, where you're younger, you would probably get through it a bit easier. Um, but with someone coming in new into the sport, mm -hmm. um, they might be strong, um, but they would, you wouldn't want to build them up to their endurance. Yeah, they yeah, still yeah. need to build it up. I mean, also, because part of endurance, to me, I always think, is psychological. Some of it is in your, is in your head, you know, how long you can, you can keep it going. You can keep it going. Mm. Um, and as you say, fueling is, is very much a... And also, I wonder as well if older cyclists do have an advantage in that you've got a lot of muscle memory there if you've been riding for a long time. You know, you get tired. Yeah. And one, the, one, the riders who've been doing it a long time yeah they 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 set them to a certain pace and they can yeah. carry on can't they yeah where yeah, yeah. someone who hasn't built that up in there yeah uh, in their endurance and the fitness new to it they will just go bang won't they yeah yeah and yeah, yeah. To stop and get a mars bar yeah or something yeah, just yeah, if yeah, anything yeah. from a garage just to get home don't you yeah we've all been at some point yeah, indeed we did our video on um fitness for the over 50s about how their training would change from your 40s to your 50s but presumably it would also change a bit of what you should be doing or what most of us should be doing from your 50s to your 60s it might in theory yeah I'm not not everyone's everyone's yeah, different, everyone's different. Everyone, i yeah. treat everyone different to how they yeah, are yeah yeah but you need you, you might need more recovery yeah and um i still like to do the the 80 20 yeah um when we're younger we can you can do more efforts can't you yeah the older we get we need a bit more recovery yeah but as long as you're doing those short efforts yeah a um, couple of times a week mm -hmm. that keeps those yeah. fast twitch muscles going the vo2 max yeah. going sometimes is that strength a punch yeah yeah it yeah. keeps yeah. it going but the rest of the time we're doing steadier rise at zone one zone two yeah but then if you're tired you need I like to ride as and listen to their bodies too. Mm, 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 mm. And if you are really tired, uh, you just have to re rest and recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I always three days training yeah. and, and a rest. Yeah. But then all, all, all is my eighty-year-old. He does one day, one day on, one day off, one day yeah. on, one day off. Yeah. Like that. It all changes. All changes. Obviously, we talked about uh, muscle mass uh, and exercises to help maintain that. But what about diet? Do we need to think about our diets when we get in terms of what we do? We like, for instance, we need to be eating more protein. You see a lot of people say, "Why well, is one of the things to?" That's one of the big things. Yeah, you know, you, you eat it, having, having some protein, and um, even having some protein after you, you know, train and ride. Yeah, get it in you in the first yeah, twenty yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you go, if you do go on your turbo trainer, doing yeah. doing a little hit session, having that because we we. When you get older, we need to recover. Yeah, and the protein, the quicker. protein is repairing it's, your it's, muscle. It's going to do it? that. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's one of the biggest things. Right. Um, getting that protein down you, and and repairing repairing the body. And I guess you've just got to find the right protein that works for you, whether you're a, if you're uh, whether you're an omnivore or a vegetarian, or or a vegan. But there are plenty of different protein there, sources there, there out is, there that exactly. work for everyone so obviously sometimes it's easy to have a protein drink isn't it yeah yeah you know what i mean but yeah. it's always good to have food obviously our metabolism slows mm -hmm. the older we get i used to eat like a horse when i was young yeah. you know you shovel the food yeah, out yeah. you're don't you yeah don't do that anymore no same here actually yeah i'm eating less I space yeah. it and I space it out more. You know, space my, it out my more. natural rhythm has ended. I mean, it's very fashionable this like um, fasting sort of thing, isn't mm. it? And I and I turns out I've been doing that for yeah. years, but it's just like it was the it's just the rhythm of my you know the way I live, mm. I guess lifestyle. I still have big dinners. Yeah, same. Here. But I tend to have lots of salad. Yeah, beef out with salad and, and um, vegetables. Yeah, yeah, and that's and that's good for your immune system too. And yeah. just beef everything out with that. We've covered nutrition, but what about exercise off the bike? I mean, are we talking essentially then weight bearing exercises like we mentioned weight earlier? Weight bearing exercises. So we've done that, trying to keep our strength there and flexibility and core. Well, yeah, exactly. Because obviously, yeah. when we were probably younger, yeah, I don't know about you, but. I was, yeah. no, I was a cyclist and we didn't do it, did we? No, I know, I know. Right. Yeah. I started doing <laughs> flexibility in my late 40s and that is actually probably, um, pardon the pun, the core part of yeah. my daily exercise routine is actually flexibility, like, you know, um, 
cat and cowing yeah. and, and a bit of planking and all that sort I'm of stuff. I'm impressed. That's very, that's yeah. very good. So, it, it's, it, it, no, it is very important. Yeah. You know, I mean, the older we get, trying to do some flexibility. Well, uh, I noticed it, it, it um, improved my comfort on the bike. I always used to, like, after a long ride, to come home and have a little bit of, like, lower back yeah, pain yeah. on one side. And doing, and doing that, you know, the cat and cow every day, I mean, only for, like, you know, a few minutes. I, I, I do about 10 minutes a day. Uh, the other thing is, is Pilates and yeah, yoga. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and go to a, you, you can do, watch it on YouTube or go to a club. And yeah. it's a social then, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. you're getting out, you can and take also, your And also, that's and the thing is, uh, yeah, you, you, um, you can really work on your technique then. That's, yeah. the, that's the thing that I always am aware of, is that I'm doing it on my own. So, yeah, I watch the videos on YouTube and I look at myself in the, re- <laughs> I did it in the kitchen. So I look at myself in the reflection in the cooker to make sure that I'm, yeah. you know, because it's easy to shortcut on these things. Because that's right, because if you've got the wrong technique, you yeah. can hurt yourself. Yeah, if you've exactly. got the wrong technique with doing weights, you'll yeah. hurt yourself. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's not, I'm not, you could, no, you end up worse in the worst position. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, yeah so yeah. It's, technique is key for all, all this. For yeah. all of these things, yeah, it's not, and it's as I say, it has benefits, massive benefits off the bike too. That leads us on talking about flexibility to talking about your position on the bike. Now, does that need to change as you? As you get over, it's changed. It's changed since I was riding in twenty thirty. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah. It's probably evolved. Step. I mean, I'm guessing yeah. though, for most of us, or for those of us who've been riding a long time, this you've evolved your position, and by the time you get into your sixties, you're probably pretty comfortable with it. Mm. And maybe what you need to do is just be listening to your body to see if you need to adjust it. Yes. Yeah. I've become more relaxed on, on the bike. Yeah. So my yeah. stem really higher up, but, yeah. but, um, yeah, I've always, it's nice to have a bike fit. Yeah. You know, and that could change every few years, couldn't it? Yeah. Especially a different yeah. bike. Cause yeah. you know, depending on if you work on your flexibility, yeah, that will help you on the bike for comfort. Yeah. And, and, Oh, definitely. You can definitely, get yeah. into certain positions. Otherwise, you could be just upright. You yeah, can't bend yeah, your back yeah, and things yeah. like that. So, and then you're hitting all the wind, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And that's even harder to ride a bike then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, indeed it is. <laughs> yeah. Some of us, as I say, if you're an experienced cyclist, getting out there on the busy roads of Britain or wherever you are, if the roads are busy, um, probably isn't that daunting. You're probably used to it. Um, but what if you're a, a newer cyclist uh, or you're just, a, you know, exp- you know Things have made you more nervous about traffic and the potential for falls. And um, it's always good to go out with a friend. Yeah. Maybe experienced rider, if, 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 or if you know one. If, yeah. If you know one, I suppose you can join. Well, the other thing to do is, is possibly join a club. Join a club. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I suppose. And the other way of avoiding traffic is to ride indoors. I mean, it's not like that's not. Yeah. Get you fit. Yeah. It, it, will, will, get, it yeah. will. It will get. You, it will get you fit. But obviously, when you're out on the road. You're using all your, you yeah, are using yeah, your core. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're using, using your, your body. And also, I just like being out in nature. I mean, that's I, part I, of the. That's what's about being cycling. And, yeah. and technically, the older we get, apparently, mm. our reactions slow, don't they? Yeah. That's what I've been told. Yeah. So, and more we're doing on, on the road. Yeah. Um, I suppose that keeps them sharp. Keeps or, them sharp, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. If I had to change three things, um, and I'm saying I as your general 60 something cyclist, had to change us three things. What would the three things be? Strengthening and conditioning. Yeah. Right, put that in there. Your flexibility. Yeah. And stretching. That can, right, probably goes into the strength and conditioning too. Yeah. And your recovery. Mm-hmm. You've got, you know, we've got to remember we need a little bit extra recovery when we were 20 yeah. year olds. And I'm all about the resting me already, and so <laughs> that's fine. And then just enjoying, enjoying riding your bike. Yeah. I think that's key, really. I mean, as I say, for a lot of cyclists, I guess, who are hitting their 60s or in their 60s, if you've got to this point and you're still riding your bike, you must enjoy it. I'd hope you enjoy it. You haven't been doing 50 years on the bike um, just to punish yourself. If you're happy. If you're happy on the bike. You will probably tend to be quite fast on the bike and enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for joining us in this video. Um, If you come back in 10 years time, I'll be doing the cycling for the over 70s. Look forward to that one. See you then. (laughs) 